It is time to know what's on the front pages of Nigerian newspapers. And joining us is a public affairs analyst, Oladen De Ario, as well as broadcast journalist, Funke Treasure. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Everybody's Breakfast. Black. black. Black, black. And white. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Okay. <laughs> we are not mourning anything. Uh -huh. All right. Please. Okay, so let's head straight to the papers now, and I begin with the blueprint. Senate to governor, stop running to presidency for dispute resolution. Senate to governor, stop running to presidency for dispute resolution. You find a story on the front page of uh, the blueprint. Lomikas resume plenary debate. Farmers had a uh, crisis today. Aburate others' fate to be determined at committee level. I am retired but not tired. Ex chief of army staff. Presidency denies lobbying for nominees' clearance. You find that on the story on the front page of uh, the blueprint. We move to the front page of the leadership newspaper now. ACF Aerofi kick against compensation for bandits. ACF, El Rufai, kick against compensation for bandits. You find a story on the front page of uh, the leadership newspaper. To the front page of the business day now, IMF confirms Nigeria digging deeper into financial crisis. IMF confirms Nigeria digging uh, deeper into financial crisis. You find a story on the front page of the business day. To the national economy now, Nigeria disagrees with IMF on Naira devaluation. Nigeria disagrees with IMF on Naira devaluation. That's story on the front page of the national economy. To the Daily Times now, IMF worried about impact of multiple rates, forex shortages, others on Nigeria's economy. IMF worried about impact of multiple rates, forex uh, shortages, others on Nigeria's economy. That's story on the front page of the Daily Times. To the Punch newspaper now, Buhari's COVID-19 jail threat states list enforcement obstacles as Nigerians shun compliance. During first wave, it spent 10 million naira daily on task force enforcing rules, sales cross river, effecting mass arrests difficult in Ugu, Kanu, federal capital territory, arrests 243 offenders. Coercive measures will be used, force headquarters warns violators. All right. We see the same story on the front page of the Daily Sun. Federal government proposes a jail term for COVID-19 violators. Says fake tests uh, forcing airlines to doubt Nigeria's results. Country reports 13 UK variant cases. To get 42 million vaccine doses from Africa Union platform. NAFDAQ evaluating vaccines from Russia, India. We move now to the front page of the Vanguard newspaper. Headers crisis, Afeni Ferry, ACF, MBF, Pandef, Bak Shoinka ask leaders to avert civil war. That story on the front page of the Vanguard. To the Guardian newspaper now, CBN sticks to unpopular opinion on digital currency. Banks disable platforms, track accounts, investors of load assets, stay ahead of innovation, don't stifle it. Mohalu knocks CBN over knee-jerk approach. Directive good for anti-money laundering war, says Guadabi. Uh, to the front page of the Daily Trust now. Banditry kidnapping Northwest governors working at Cross Purposes, El Rufai, says criminal headsmen must die. I'll not backtrack on dialogue, Matawali. Government uh, must negotiate from position of strength, experts. We want peace, Mark Ban. You find that story on the front page of uh, the Daily Trust newspaper. I will be looking at that story shortly. Uh, to the front page of the Nigerian News Direct now, 2023 Fani Kayode, Buni, Bello in secret meeting, visit not political Fani Kayode. 2023 Fani Kayode, Buni, Bello in secret meeting and responding, uh, Fani Kayode says uh, the visit is not political. All right, let's begin with the story on the Daily Trust, talking about uh, the issue of uh, banditry and kidnapping. Elfai saying that Northwest governors working at cross purposes, he is against uh, uh, dialogue and uh, payment of perhaps ransoms to uh, criminals, so bandits and kidnapping, kidnappers. Let's get your reaction to that. If you recall, 
a few months ago, let me say a year or two ago, yes. was the same Erufari that paid bandits. And then when he was questioned, he explained that he wanted to ensure that they stop banditry and that uh, there was peace in Cardinal State. Now, since between when he paid them and today, killing, kidnapping, and all those That's things been on the increase. On the increase. But he's singing a different tune now. The he's one that don't paid pay me most was uh, last week. There was a report of Sheikh Gumi, yes. uh -huh. uh, a, a, a leading cleric, in a dialogue with going to have a meeting with the bandits. And if you saw the video, the bandits were seated with so much confidence and comfort, indicating that they were not in a hurry about anything. Now, I had thought that it will achieve something tangible using the mentality of Islamic religion mm. to appeal to them, especially when it's a globally recognized a cleric, I, I, I respect him. Because in the time gone, he's done a few things that you could say, oh, he meant well. But what happened? Barely 24 hours after his it's meeting with them, again. 19 people were mindlessly murdered. The question I was asking myself is this. They've tried to pay. He failed. The cleric appealed to them. He didn't succeed. The question is, why is our military not able to spot where they are and in one operation terminate their existence? Hmm. You see, that, that's what I thought also. How come the sheikh knew where they were? They were. Yeah. How come he was, they were willing to listen to him? How come our um, recently retired service chiefs uh, couldn't go to where they were? How come they could not be disarmed? Mm. And how come um, El Rufai, the governor El Rufai said these are not, they, they, they do not have a religion. Mm. So you cannot say because as a sheikh, you, as a sheikh you want to go and negotiate and, and use, appeal, use yeah. emotional appeal of religion oh, to, religion talk, to talk they, to they, them. they do not have a religion. No religion tells you to kill and maim. And that if these guys were, were uh, selling cows and, 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 and earning 100,000, you know, a month or perhaps, uh, you know, and then they do kidnapping now and they earn so much, it's going to be tough for you to say, don't do this anymore. But the point I want to zero in on is why our service chiefs or our military could not go to where Sheikh went to, Sheikh Gumi went to, mm. and why we're still dilly dallying, going round in circles. So, so are you questioning the sincerity of purpose at addressing this issue? I am wondering why and how the intelligence of Sheikh Gumi um, could, could locate these people, this whereas people. our own military intelligence could not. Who are supposed it's to be trained <laughs> yes. to know this thing? Well, how come they did not? How mm. come they didn't have used their own military uh, military training to negotiate in court now mm. with these bandits? How did Sheikh get there? No. That's the question. The, the, the question. The, the, How did the, he get there? Beyond this getting there, my problem, let me call it a problem, is the fact that I've been trying to understand how he succeeded at getting them to cease fire to give him access to their enclave. You know, because these are people who nobody could determine what they would do the next moment. Right. But in his private and personal capacity, he was able to, number one, identify where they are, was able to get them to agree to receive him in the audience. Exactly. And of course, he was able to agree for them to cease fire at that moment. Because they, they, when I look at the video, I was like, is this possible? So are there's we a now possibility saying, that we know certain things so, so and we are not when addressing When we say it. we, count me out. Okay. Some, <laughs> yes, because I don't know. Yes. Some people in authority, they know where they are. And so repetitiously now, they are providing them cover. So every five statement comes from a place of knowledge. Knowledge, yes. It comes see, from a, because again, he's done it before and he's saying it didn't work. So this was, time I'm uh, not going to do it. When he was paying them. And we took him up that you are empowering these people by mm. giving them money. He believed so much in it, he defended it. Now he has had a turnaround. And he's saying if they were selling cows and they were making 100K in a month, 
but now with kidnapping, they make millionaires. Yeah. So, so how do you now think they will go back to their old life, or they can be, you see, they can be taken out of the so bush. So what and he wants settled. is for the Northwest governors to be unified in purpose so at addressing ma, ma, this the issue. The governor of Sampara State, Matawale, yes, he's saying yesterday he is accepted eight ex bandits they call them. They, they brought subsequent weapons to surrender and declare that they are no longer oh, going wow. to be criminals. And then they swore by the Quran. The question is, how viable and sustainable is that option? I do not Are understand. we not yeah. encouraging criminality? Because all of this, what I could see is that we are hugging which is why I stand with Governor El Rufai in this matter. Mm -hmm. We should not be encouraging criminality. We should not be... It's like romancing. These people like, oh, come, uh, I give you but these, now oh, that, come. So what how can the governors mean? come together? Which you government know, again? The governors. I'm talking oh, about the, the governors. governors. Okay. He is saying that the Northwest governors are working across purposes. He is saying they shouldn't be negotiating and making compensations. Rather, <laughs> let's address these issues head on. Okay, now, for me, this is a federal problem, not a state issue now. It is. Because the state has no military. The state has no police, I mean, no army, no police, no, I mean, no air force, no navy, or whatever. So it's a f only the federal government can address this. What they should do, if they want this to end, now that you know where the ones in Cardinal State, at least you know where they are now, forward a report to the federal government. But they've been meeting with the government. This is not the first time now, they're let's just with say, the let's just You say, are saying this is a state issue. Excuse me. It let's just say it's a new day. Oh, oh, let's just say it's a new day. Right. We want to begin again. Let them write a fresh report and say, look, we have been able to identify where they are. So it shouldn't be a big deal taking them out. And you think, right. uh, having received the shake at that spot, they'll remain there? I'm not saying they will remain there. <laughs> Using aerial surveillance. But they've right. been using Tracking. aerial surveillance. <laughs> they've, that's the uh, issue. See, they've I'm been always using, they've remember been deploying all General of this. Bacha. They've been deploying okay. all of this. And now I, we're, we're rewarding them <laughs> with uh, ambassadorial uh, nominations, well, positions. They've been doing surveillance. They've been doing all kinds of Deploying all kinds of military, no, no. Uh, 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 to, you know, what I want to also uh, tactics and equipment and all the, of that. In the midst of similar crisis, mm. there are Sonia Basha, uh, who most of us don't regard well, said that if an insurrection should exceed certain either days or weeks or hours or whatever, that it means the government of the day is involved. Now, whether the state or federal is what it did not explain. Because all of these things, they have uh, been allowed to fester, to fester for too long. Mm -hmm. And it's becoming impossible. Unfortunately, there was a policy of the federal government in which case when they capture Boko Haram fighters, they take them in and in their wisdom, Send them okay, abroad. they debrief <laughs> them and then they are ordered to be of good behavior. Either turned out into the civilian population, or some of them were allowed to join the military. The question is, how successful has it been? What result have we gained? OK, because now, I, I still insist, whether you call them kidnappers, or you call them hoodlums, or bandits, or terrorists, we are still talking about the same thing, mm. criminals. Look, my take is, we're not just talking about criminals, we're talking of the lack of will by the federal government to really address That's this the issue. matter. That is the issue. That's there. the issue. That's the lack of will to address it and to just keep the citizenry going round and round in circles. Why are we paying the military? It's my tax money. Mm. Why are we going round and round? Okay, now a civilian, a religious uh, person, personality, leader has gone to identify how come that's the one I can't <laughs> seem to, you know, reconcile with. How come he had the intelligence to locate where these people were? Mm. And, and we have deployed so much money, billions of money for billions, years. Yeah. Billions. Billions. Trillions. Trying to address Even in the current budget. Mm. It, it got, doesn't make sense. Uh, is it 20 billion naira now? to revamp 90 universities, whereas 380 billion naira was projected to be expended on fighting Boko Haram. Yes, it's a lack of political will.
and all of that. But the question is, whose responsibility now is it to call the executive to order? The National Assembly. Well, well that we know where these people are. Yeah, because, Let's move. Okay, it, it, who else can? Because well, they are basically it's the, 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 the role of Isn't the, it the governor. You no, know, if you say the governor, report? if you say the governor, then their House of Assembly should challenge them. But well, you see, in a situation whereby the governor sponsored their election into offices, hmm. that becomes an impossibility. Um, you know, there is a saying that when you say, "This child, don't kill me." Don't kill me, you, this child. One day you're going to say, this child, don't, don't kill, kill yourself. yourself. We've been saying it all uh, over the years. Godfather is going to have a boomerang effect. And now that's you what we're seeing now? Yeah. Now you've installed people who can't challenge you, who can stand, you know, face to face, face, to face yeah. and tell you the truth, who can say, we veto this one, you can't do it. We've seen a case where houses of assemblies have been quiet about a lot of developments. We've seen cases where, okay, look at what's happening between the presidency and, and the legislature. Now, to, I think today they're going to be sitting yes. and be talking about why you now have to reward ex-service chiefs with ambassadorial positions. For what are they going to? Mm. To go and do what? What exactly have they done? <laughs> okay. They've left us to worse than that. that. Yes. No, right. okay. so, so, so you see this sort of posturing by the federal government and you just wonder you, know, you okay. just continue to wonder what why. What I was thinking of today, something occurred to me. In Tokyo, I remember as a student, I attended a leadership school. In America, I know of Kennedy, there's a school for, school for, government for aspiring system. leaders. Right. Yes. Where people are taken to, to be groomed, okay? To, be, to make good, good leaders. leaders. And I said, in Nigeria, we have NIPS. We also have the old war college, now defense college. But 90% or thereabout of those who go there are the military, not from the civilian population. I mean, they, they take some, but not yeah. in life. The question is, is because a lot of things that in the last three months, when you look back, you wonder why are we going around in circles. circles. I'll mention two. When they announced the NIN, this is something, and gave a very short time frame. We said, look, considering the circumstances confronting the world, including Nigeria, this is not possible. Today, April is the new date. Mm. Now, who was there thinking midway and concluding that was his best? When they brought the issue of National Sports Festival, and I was like, what is the big deal? about sporting activities at this, at this moment. Because I, I have personal friends who have died. Monday, the Monday the Friday last week, two of my friends called me and said, boy, you didn't see us, you didn't ask after us. Oh, sorry, what happened? We were in isolation centers. So having seen that, do you now think I will release my son or daughter or, 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 or anybody in my care to go and join them at any sporting activity or festival or something? Why, why do we have characters who cannot sit down and think through issues at a go and push policies that will move the country forward? For thinking. Yes, why are we in that position? What, what, what's and what I think the earlier we start addressing that, the better. Let those who are coming behind us now Let's go make them establish a leadership institute. There are leadership yeah, institutes and they have projects to go for this. You see, don't, the don't ones just, that they had, like the one in Shasha in the Peru, it was a trash. They I'm have. talking of I'm talking of where people would be thought to yes. think mental development. Don't even mm. think that these people don't go for such ah. uh, for such uh, trainings. They even go abroad, Harvard and all the you know, high profile places that they go and they collect extra codes to go. So perish the thoughts that they don't. The thing is the political will to do what is right. The fact that they, 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 they have allegiances to this and to that and to that. Look at what someone is saying in the papers today. Why are our governors always running to the presidency? Mm. Why? You are the chief executive of what your state. state. You sit down there and do the right thing. For, for crying out loud, it took Governor Sheyi Makinde so long to get to Ibarakwa. The, the Oyo State Assembly took so long to speak out on behalf of the people. It, it's a matter of we, the people, elected you there to represent us. So, 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 so 
we need to start talking to our representatives. But then the people themselves have a role to play, asking questions, accountability. You put these people there. We why have. are you not playing their role? We have been asking. Which is Perhaps why you the alone. next you are, time, you are the lone voice. which is why the next time we have the opportunity, we're going to use our voters' card better. Right. Unfortunately, that will remain at the realm of, of wishful a dream. thinking. I can tell you that <laughs> straight away because the average voter now has been increasingly impoverished. I prophesied deliberately that before the end of December, petrol will go for two hundred naira. My prophecy didn't come to pass. But what guess what? Any moment from now, it's going to be sold at 190 naira. All you right. see, when we look at all of these things combined together, they help to um, impoverish the people, reduce their capacity to take decisions, yeah. and think through issues. So when they bring 20 naira loaf of bread, they will take you it. quickly take it. When and they bring for Ankara, your two years, they accept it. When they bring Richard card, so they easily sell off their conscience, and then the cycle will continue. Continue, sir. It's a deliberate attempt. It is a deliberate, I mean, and to keep, it, like, somebody was saying that, how come Asu's problem till date cannot be resolved? Oh, because, because they are still threatening that they will go on strike. Right. right. The question is, the children of, majorly the masses, exactly. are the ones in the system. Hmm. They have, the, the halves, the elites, have their children either in private university or abroad. Right. Which so, is why we asked for a policy that would say if you're a public servant, your children should oh, be so, so in public So technically, what is being achieved is to deprive them education and within a given time frame. Anyway. How do you spend seven years All right. to run through a four-year program? We have to leave Which the conversation Which is why a lot of our now. children are now going to neighboring countries well, to school. finish off. So we have to leave the conversation here now and hope that uh, those in position of government will begin to think through and get the result because people entrusted them for those positions to secure them, which is a primary purpose of governance. And so we hope that uh, we begin to see that moving forward and that uh, Aerofy can push through with his uh, desires of ensuring that no more compensation is given with, uh, to uh, bandits. Yeah. <laughs> I stand with Aerofy in this matter. All right. Let's uh, end the conversation here, but we must thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Uh, Funke Treasure, thank you so much uh, thank for you. coming to talk to us. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> She's weird. <laughs> All right, uh, nice to have been here. 